morning guys welcome back to let me see i'm not sure what week we are uh, we are on week eight now uh, so halfway kind of halfway ish into the winter campaign um, it is 31st well actually 30th of december so beginning of another new week and an end of a year and an end of a decade as well so if anyone's got any good uh, resolutions then make them now and they'll be broken by end of january but uh, Personally, I don't make resolutions. I just make slight changes, which are more, more achievable than saying, right, okay, next week, I won't drink, I won't eat this, I won't eat that. And that's a recipe for disaster. So I, if, you're a, if you're a drinker and you don't want to drink as much, say, I'm not going to go tea. So I'll just say, I'm going to drink less. And each time you drink less, you'll want to drink less each time. And eventually you'll probably end up drinking very little. Same with sweets, chocolate, and all the other bits and pieces. Cut it all out completely and go cold turkey, and you will sit there pulling your hair out. So better off to refine it to little bits and little and often, so you get a little treat and go from there. But that's it. So anyway, I'm just planning the week ahead now, and I shall show you that on screen in two seconds. Here we go. So Monday 30th is rest day. 31st is going to be the six and two, and then two times ten at low cadence. Uh, for January the 1st, which is New Year's Day, I planned a rest day, but I might go out and do an hour, very, very easy zone one. And then into Thursday, which is going to be the target session again, and that's going to be six minutes and ten minutes, keeping that going, which seems to be working well. And then definitely do a rest day on Friday, because I'm probably going to be working in the evening in the massage room. And then Saturday, those high cadence session again, and the uh, standing starts, which definitely definitely felt that last week um, and needed a rest day after that but we're gonna run into uh, sunday which is three hours again so i'm not sure what's gonna happen on sunday might go out with a teammate on sunday i don't often ride with people but um be a slight change to the to a normal sunday so it could be a little bit less pacey or it could be a bit more pacey so we'll see what goes but um, looking at the end of the week uh, of a CTL 51, um, which is way, way more than where I was this time last year. So that's all promising. Good morning. It is New Year's Eve and we're just about to get ready to go out and do the Tuesday session, um, which is going to be the same sort of block we've done for the last few weeks, really. Um, six times two minutes and then we'll do two times ten minutes in low cadence. I think I was on the screen anyway. But um, yeah, thanks for pretty poop today, but they always do. It always seems to get me on the Tuesday, as I've mentioned before. So. But the um, weather looks pretty chilly out there, overcast and grey and gloomy today. But uh, I don't think we're going to see much sunshine, to be fair. But um, only a short session. Um, enjoying being out on the road again. And I will say that I've noticed the difference between road and turbo training, because I never really do road training other than the Christmas block in the weekdays. How much less, or how much more over you go on your target power. It's just easier on the road just to sort of push that a little bit more, whereas on the turbo it's very consistent. Like if you set a TSS on training peaks of 200 for a session and you do a turbo, it will be exactly the same. Whereas on the road it's always slightly over no matter what you seem to do because obviously gradients and, and, and so forth. But um, it's interesting. Uh, I think you definitely get more, more TSS on the road. So anyway, let's get out there and do it. Rightio. Not a bad. Not a bad little session to be honest. Just goes to show, listen to your body. Like I said the other day to myself, I was feeling tired after that big two week block. So Monday I scrapped it. So I've had two days rest, two sleeps. And legs feel really, really good this morning after a five, 10 minute warm up. So absolutely chuffed with the power I've chucked out. Should have been, I think 85% on the two minutes but I will put it up on the screen but I felt so good I was just pushing on today um, sometimes you what you got to take advantage of a window when your legs are good so five minute rest now and then do the last 10 minute interval in low cadence and that's about it really for this year I think this year is nearly completely done all by a few hours 
left of the day really so uh, happy new year to everybody um, I've enjoyed doing the vlog for the for the start of the winter um, hopefully it's helped somebody out there maybe not who knows but um, I'm gonna carry on doing it all the way through the rest of the winter and into the race season and it'd be interesting to see different uh, times that I can get back this year compared to last year with being self-coached um, but uh, on a final note I think the, the 10 minutes at low cadence are really really definitely improving my top end power for sure um, just feels really good so that's the session that I'm going to carry on I'm going to keep going with that all winter um, and then hopefully get some big gains so that's it for me I'll see you in 2020. Happy New Year. Morning. It is sadly the 2nd of January, so everybody, Happy New Year. And all that palarkey. Anyway, um, back to work today, which is pretty grim. Kind of thing thinking this morning, I've done all my training has been done on the road and not on the turbo over the last, well, well yeah, about 10, 12 days off or whatever. Um, and now I'm going to have to go back to doing it in a turbo at five o'clock six o'clock after work which is pretty grim so doing that early morning session getting it out of the way and then having the rest of the day to recover is pretty nice so um today he's going to be back to turbo and back to the after the work scenario so what joy is that is um i must admit motivation today is pretty grim but um I'm going to watch a couple of videos on YouTube at lunchtime, which always perk me up. A bit of Bradley Wiggins' Road to Glory um, from a few years back. And uh, hopefully that will get me uh, a bit more chomping at the bit to get on the turbo tonight. So uh, I'll catch you tonight on the turbo. First British winner of the Tour de France. 16.49, that's 11 seconds quicker than through. Remember the little chicane and nice line flow through it. Now it is a minute 15 on the piston. You're making history here, come on. You can see Perth, you're a 75 metres flat and you're the line. Come on, Cadence, Cadence, Cadence. It's a winning ride, it's a winner to the France. And Bradley Wiggins licks his lips in anticipation and punches the sky. Here goes. Um... Yeah, we'll see. Well guys, done and dusted. Slightly down on the power, 281. I know we were aiming for 280, but last week when I did a turbo session in the garage, this is the only turbo session I've done last week in the two weeks of Christmas, because I wanted to keep it even, Stevens. I think it was 285 for the six. But at 10 minutes, I pulled it back to 285. So just slightly over where I wanted to be. But anyway, it wasn't pretty, didn't feel very nice. <sighs> Glad it's finished to be honest with you. Got a rest day tomorrow, session on Saturday, on the road, and then a free hour on Sunday. This week's been a little bit of a micro recovery week with two, two proper rest days this week doing absolutely nothing. So uh, yeah, so I'll see you, well I won't see you tomorrow, it'll be a rest day. Uh, see you on Saturday. Saturday is here and it is gonna be the same as last week which is consisting of 10 times one minute at high cadence. So I'm gonna try and hit like 110, 115, maybe a bit, a bit more than that. And then we're gonna do into the standing starts. Uh, so come to a complete stop, big gear, largest gear. Wind it up to your cadence standing up, which you would race with, and then sit back down and just keep that cadence for the rest of the minute. And then back into five times high cadence again. Um, legs don't feel too bad today. I will say though, I've kind of missed my monthly massage in December due to the boy being ill and I can definitely feel uh, glutes, uh, glute mid, glute min, TFL are feeling very tight and um, so yeah but my, well, I've got a few massage due now on next Saturday so uh, I'm looking forward to getting released off in the glute area so um, hopefully that will free up some uh, tightness around there so anyway let's get on with it. Good to see that the uh, pedaling balance is near 50-50 for that session, uh, which is quite pleasing. And also going into uh, early 2020, a couple of uh, 
gold power medals there from best minute power for 2020 and a five second power so all good progress Today, I've uh, got plenty of things to do football with the boy and all sorts, so it's just on half past seven, just about getting light out there. So, we're going to get out there now and do it. Going to change today, it was going to be the normal ride 15 minutes on, 15 minutes off for tempo, but I'm going to do, I'm going to stretch out the tempo now to about 20, about 25 minutes and try and hit three of those in this session, try and stretch that tempo out a bit more for January and then perhaps in February. Stretch it out to 30 minutes, 35 minutes uh, each interval. So uh, anyway, crack on, see you later. Well, I've made it back, didn't bother stopping to do a mid-ride commentary as we needed to get over to the football pitch for 12 o'clock. But um, absolutely cracking ride today, really enjoyed that. I felt like I got a bit of a mojo back today. But um, all in all, it was pretty good. Did two or four times 20 minutes at high tempo. Um, went really, really well. I think I kind of got my fueling just right today. Um, always use the same breakfast as normal porridge and bits and pieces that go with it. But um, took a couple of gels today and had a few of those in between the intervals and that seemed to work a treat. So that's it really for this week. Uh, pretty productive. It's been a bit of a half and half a week in regards to a bit of recovery. Not so full on. A um, little bit down on the hours this week but we can pick that back up next week so but uh, for me I've got an hour of watching 13 year olds run around a pitch trying to play football so uh, I shall see you next week and take it easy.